Today I want to talk about witchcraft where it pertains to dating and marriage and it interferes in who God has selected for a person. Now, God has selected someone for every single person. He selects it according to his purpose first. He has a purpose for us in life. And usually our mate is put in our lives, a mate who's going to stand by us and support us, a mate who's going to help us. And when you have the right mate, when you, with the mate that God has chosen for you, both of you can work together to fulfill God's purpose for his kingdom. But see what has been happening is a lot of people are going out and they're choosing mates without the discretion of God. They're not seeking God. They're not praying to him. And they're getting in these relationships that were not meant for them. They're getting in relationships with the wrong person and the relationships do not work out. Now, I want to talk specifically about people who are using sorcery and witchcraft to steal mates. And I call it theft because these mates were not meant for you. And you're using them to entrap them. When you use sorcery and witchcraft, to target and take a person that's not meant for you when you're casting love spells or entrapping people by bewitching them and putting jujus and curses on them and hexes to keep them in a bondage or to, to get them in a relationship with you. It is theft because now you're trapping someone against their will. You're using magic and sorcery to influence their emotions and you're taking someone that was not meant for you. It was meant for someone else. So now you're still in that person. You're still in someone else's mate that God has chosen for them. And when you do this, you are now hindering God's will and purpose to be done because now you're mismatching. You're not with your rightful mate that God had for you and this person now cannot be with their rightful mate because you have stolen them in the kingdom of darkness. You've used witchcraft. You used the power of Satan to steal another human being and entrap them, a human being that God created. So now his will is not being fulfilled. And when you're together, it's not a lot of times it does not work out because that person was not meant for you. Now, God's going to hold you accountable. You're not going to get away with stealing people. You're not going to get away with entrapping someone because these people were hindered and kept from fulfilling God's purpose because you stole them. You wrongfully entrapped them in a marriage that they were not supposed to be in. And God takes this seriously. Even trapping someone in a marriage can cause you to have a child that God did not ordain to be here. Remember Abraham and Sarah in the Bible when, when Abraham was trying to have a baby, him and uh, Sarah were trying to conceive and it was taking too long. They wanted to go out of God's will. So Sarah told Abraham to lay down with her handmaid in Hagar and that child was not blessed. And you saw that the, the trouble that it caused there created chaos. See, when you, when you go out of God's will, it can cause hardship for everyone. And that, that child had hardship. They, they were separated. They had to be cast out into the wilderness because it was not God's plan. Yes, eventually God blessed Hagar, but that child, that was not the child that God had predestined. That was not the child that God had promised to Abraham. And so see, when you walk out of the will of God, you, you conceive a child with someone that was not meant for you, the mate that was not meant for you, that that child is not blessed. And so when you, a lot of you are out here using sorcery to, to entrap people, you're having children with them. These children were, were not predestined by God. These were not a part of God's will. And he could turn it around, but you're causing problems for yourself. You can further cause problems for your child. Because you were not supposed to have that child with that well, person. See, you want a blessing, but you're stepping out of God's will. You cannot be blessed when you're out of God's will. And when you're sitting in a marriage that you know that God did not ordain, when you're sitting in a relationship with a person you know that was not for you, you stole them through sorcery and witchcraft, you need to repent because you have stolen another person. You have entrapped them. You need to let them free. You need to let them free because you are going to answer to God for that. You can't be using sorcery and casting spells, what you call love spells, on people and controlling their emotions and their will. You cannot be using that. A lot of you think, oh, you're getting something good. And then a lot of times it bites you in the butt. It comes back and it, it, it backfires on you because you have used sorcery. Nothing good comes out of using evil. You can't get something good when you when you have gone into it the wrong way. It's like if you use deception to to get a job or to buy a home, you're going into it with deception and it can always backfire on you. That ends up not working because you did not get it the legitimate way. And a lot of you need to be repenting to God and, and, and ask for forgiveness for this and, and asking God to help you and setting these captives free.